That man's a machine. Three, two, one. Here we go. This is Intro Machine with Ian Sturgeon. Quick tips to build a better podcast today. Now, the man behind the machine. Me. My name's Ian Sturgeon. I am the host of the Intro Machine podcast. And last week, we talked about taking noise out of your podcast. And this week, we're going to talk about putting noise back into your podcast. Wait, why would we do that? Well, now that you've got all the unwanted noise out of your podcast, it's time to enrich your podcast with things that might add to it. When I was just starting out in audio production, I had the opportunity to have an internship at uh, KTCL in Denver. And um, one of the things that my guru taught me was to not use a sound effect if there's not a need for a sound effect. And that was all for fully produced things. And you can see that in my production style. That if there's a sound effect, it's there for a reason. It's there to separate something or put emphasis on something. Um, but the same holds true with your podcast. And you can add a lot to your podcast depending on what type of podcast you have, especially storytelling podcasts, by just adding some ambient noise. Um, it will draw the listener in. It will make it more engaging. So we're going to go through a few examples of how you might do that. But first, I need to talk to you about something serious. There are lots of serious moments in podcasts and stories that could become more serious if there was just a pad or a drone under them. You get the point. Lots of times a drone or some ambience can really set the tone for what you're talking about. I got that drone off of a site called Video Blocks. It's like $100 a year, and they've got a bunch of really cool, serious tones, movie trailer sounding stuff, things like that that you can add to your podcast um, to set a serious tone. But sometimes you don't want to be serious. Sometimes you want to tell a happy story or a funny story. One of my favorite things to use in that situation is just some light strings plucking in the background. Sort of like a romantic comedy sort of trick. Kind of just sets the tone and lets people know that this is light and funny or happy. I made this one just by plucking some stuff out of my keyboard, but honestly, you can find stuff like this all over the internet if you want to do some research. There are times, though, when you just want to add context to a story. For example, right now I'm telling a story about a guy that was on top of Everest and it was really scary, and he didn't know if he was going to make it, but he did. Sometimes it's cool to use a noise to separate a phrase or idea, like I just did there. Or sometimes you can use sound effects to reiterate things. Let me repeat that. Sometimes you can use sound effects to reiterate things. So play around with it a little bit. See what happens. There are a million different ways to add sound to your podcast to make it better, more engaging, and more professional sounding. But the biggest thing to remember is don't add a sound effect if it's going to be distracting. As I said, you can get sound from video blocks, audio blocks, freesound.org, sounddogs.com if you don't mind spending a couple bucks here and there. For sound design stuff, you can get that on the homepage at intromachine.com. Lots of different options to start adding sound to your podcast. So mess around with it, see what happens, and don't overthink it. Sometimes we start thinking, oh, I don't know, should this go here? Should this go there? What should I use here? Is that too loud? Does that make sense? Is that distracting? What should I do? I don't know. Just mess around with it. See if it's a good addition to your show. It may not be, and that's okay. But I think a lot of shows are missing out on a great opportunity to make their show even more awesome. I mean, your show could be epic. It could be amazing. Just think of what you could do with sound. Ah, dang it, I bumped my record player. Anyway, you get the point. It may be cool to add sound to your show. All right, that's all I got on audio, but each week we like to end the show by talking a little bit about how audio editing can be a metaphor for life. So, um, last week we talked about pulling things out of your life, what can derail you, what's distracting you, and getting rid of those things. And so this week I'd like to talk a little bit about how you might enrich your life. One of the biggest things that's um, happened to me in the past year is I started reading audiobooks or listening to audiobooks, I guess you should say. I hadn't read over three or four books since high school, and um, I just started listening to audiobooks while I was driving about a year ago. And uh, I've listened to over 40 books in the past year. So my mind's just completely exploding with new ideas and things I've learned, and it's been this huge benefit and addition to my life. So keep your eyes open for something that might do that for you. Um, What are you lacking? What are you missing? 
what time are you wasting that could be filled with something that could enrich your life. All right, that's all I got for you. Thanks for listening. And as usual, feel free to get a hold of me if you have any questions about anything. I will do my best to answer any question you give me, but I'll have a really good shot if it's audio related. So, you know, that's up to you. Have a good one. Thanks for listening to Intro Machine with Ian Sturgeon. Get more tips, tools, and free stuff at intromachine.com. <laughs>